Have you been working in a SOC environment and still stuck in the same position? Today, I want to share with you five things that you should avoid to prevent you from limiting both your personal and professional growth. Number one is ego. I'm sorry, but those with a huge ego are extremely difficult to work with. Nothing gets me more triggered when working with someone that thinks they know everything because reality check, they likely don't. So please don't be that person who won't help others because it's not worth their time or because they asked a stupid question. We all need to remember that we all started somewhere and we wouldn't be where we are now if we didn't ask those stupid questions. Be humble, appreciate the people that are around you, and be happy to help people that are seeking your expertise because you gotta remember, at the end of the day, you're all working as one cohesive unit. The better you help others, the better the organization becomes. Number two, tunnel vision. If you have seen my previous videos before, I always talk about the bigger picture. When you're in the SOC, having tunnel vision can greatly limit your ability to understand what is going on in an investigation. Do not focus on one single event. Instead, look at the surrounding events to understand the bigger picture. Number three, believe in everything you read. When your EDR solution blocks malware, is it really malware? Do you immediately scream, call the client, when you see a severity one alert at 3 a.m.? Do you contain the asset when your IDS generates a signature for bits outbound connection? But you know where I'm going. Do not believe in everything you read. Even myself, I might even be a big phony. You're a phony! But seriously, there are many analysts who are quick to move on to the next alert or perform remediation actions without thinking. Don't get me wrong, always follow your process, but think before you act. Number four, scared. Be comfortable being uncomfortable. This is true for both your personal and professional life. Being scared to speak up because somebody out there might judge you or scared to do a certain action because you're worried about the outcome can greatly limit your potential. The perfect example is right here. YouTube was something that I thought about doing for a while now, but I was scared that somebody might be judging me on the other side of the camera. But at the end of the day, I'm having fun. Many times, junior SOC analysts are scared to talk to senior SOC analysts for some reason. If you're a junior SOC analyst, you need to remember that senior SOC analysts are just like us, human, or at least I think they are. Don't be scared of chatting or networking with the people around you when the time is appropriate. Make sure you do ask your questions, but do be careful of repeating your questions. Because if you do repeat your questions over and over again, they might get frustrated. So do make sure you write down their response so you can reference it if you have that question again. Number five, stop learning. In our field in cybersecurity, our threat landscape and technology is constantly changing. Our threat actors are becoming more intelligent and creative in finding ways on exploiting and breaking into our defenses. So it is important that we never stop learning. There is nothing wrong with being content, but in our field, if you want to get ahead and quickly, maybe pick up a book, watch some videos, listen to some podcasts, and tackle some labs so you can learn more about tactics, techniques, and procedures, as this will help you advance in your cybersecurity career. To summarize, the reason you might be limiting yourself and preventing growth is the following. You might have a huge ego that you're just not aware of, but it makes it difficult for others to work with you. You might have tunnel vision, meaning that you only look straight ahead and not side to side, aka you don't think about the bigger picture. You might believe in everything you read, so take a step back, take your time, and think before you act. You might be someone that is scared to speak up. Be comfortable being uncomfortable. Don't let fear limit your potential. And lastly, stop learning. You will never know everything in this field, and that is a fact. But you can stay sharp in your skills and be better prepared to tackle on the next threat actor that tries to infiltrate your organization. That is it for the video. If you found it informative, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember, stay curious and do things differently.